Hi, I welcome you all at Crack Rate B. As you all know that we are covering top 100 multiple choice questions on agriculture and rural development. I have uploaded part 1 of this video lecture series and this is part 2 and in this video we will cover 20 most important agriculture and rural development questions. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that we are providing NABARD grade A course at rupees 2499 and we are covering all these topics. Along with this course, we are also providing 5 ESI and ARD mock tests for phase 1 and phase 2 respectively and we are also providing 3 descriptive types of test uh, along with this course. Recently, we have uh, launched our app and with this launching of our app, we are providing two ESI ARD GA mock, mock test uh, mocks absolutely free for all new users and we are also providing test series at rupees 499 only. Our paid users can register that app and send email to us at uh, craigreadbgmail.com for access in app and we are also working on uh, iOS app and we will launch this app very soon. So friends, what is our first question for today? Identify the English breed of chicken. This is the type of the chicken. You have to identify among these types of chicken, which is the English breed. There are various breeds of chicken. You have to identify which breed is related to the English. So, its answer will be D. So, sex is uh, known as the English breed amongst all these types of breed. Here is a chart. On the basis of the origin, these uh, chickens can be divided into two groups. The first is indigenous breed that is called Indian group and the second is exotic or foreign breeds, which is also known as the English breed or foreign breed. Under this uh, Indian group, uh, Asil, Busra, Chittagong or Kadaknath are the Indian breed and this exotic breeds. There are American, Plymouth Rock, uh, Rhode Island Red, New Hampshire, under this English section, Sussex, Australop, Cornish or Red Cap, under this Mediterranean, Laghorn, Minorca, Ekona or under this Asian, Brahma, Cochin or Longshan are the types of breed. So you can uh, remember these types of breed from uh, by pausing this video. And uh, answer for this question is Sussex, that is D. Now, uh, the second question, young female chicken is also known as or cold, called as cock, pullet, uh, cockerel, chick or grower. Young female chicken is called, is known as cock, pullet, cockerel, chick or grower. So friends, its answer will be B. Here is the explanation. Hen. This indicates a mature female chicken, generally about 21 weeks of age. Cock. This is a matured male. Its age is also 21 weeks. Pullet. This indicates usually a young female chicken. It was my question. Young female chicken is also known as pullet. Now what about this cockerel? This indicates a young male chicken, opposite of this pullet or chick. This indicates a young male or female fowl below 8 weeks of age. So the female young chicken is known as pullet and female uh, male young chicken is known as cockerel. So answer is B. Now it is the process of shedding old feathers in birds. You have to identify the process which is known as the shedding old feathers in the birds. Options are dehorning, debeaking, debudding, dubbing or molting. These all are the process uh, related to the animals, birds. You have to identify which of the following process is also known as the shedding old feathers in birds. So friends, its answer E. E. Molting 
it is the process of shedding old feathers in the birds answer is e now the fourth question the expulsion of chick from the egg after completion of incubation period is called as the expulsion of the chick from the egg after completion of incubation period is called as hatching layering debudding dubbing or brooding expulsion of chick from the egg after completion of incubation period so friends is answer will be a it is known as hatching the expulsion of chick from the egg after completion of incubation period is called hatching and what about this brooding process this is a process of rearing the young chicken from one day old stage to five to six week of age during which heat is to be provided this is called brooding and uh, the incubation period uh, the chick from the egg after completion of incub incubation period is known as the hatching now uh, the fifth question central Poultry Development Organization is located at which place? Your options are Hesar Gatha, Gurugram, Chandigarh, Hisar, or Karnal. Your options are Hesar Gatha, Gurugram, Chandigarh, Hisar, or Karnal. So answer is Central Poultry uh, Poultry Development Organization. And training institute is low uh, is located at Hesar Gatha, that is uh, located in Bangalore. Uh, one additional information you can have from here: Central Poultry Performance Testing Center is located at Gurgaon, Gurgaon, and it is uh, the name is changed Gurugram. Okay, so answer is A for this question. Now the sixth question: Which of the following is dual purpose breed? Uh, options are Cornish, Kadaknath, Sussex, White Leghorn, Rhode Island Rye. In my first question, I have shown you the various types of exotic, exotic breeds of chicken, Indian breeds, uh, English breeds, Asian breeds. So this question is based upon this chart. You have to identify the dual purpose breed. So friends, answer is E, Rhode Island Rye. Dual purpose breed, Rhode Island Rat. Uh, origin and habitat of this Rhode Island Rat is developed in Rhode Island in America after crossing with the Red Malay Game, Brown Loy Leghorn, Shanghai Sis, and Van Dotte. The color of this breed is brownish red, so why? So it is known as the Rhode Island Red. Its economic importance are it is good layer and also meat yielding breed, and the annual egg production is about two hundred. So it is very very important economically important for the poultry grower. Grower. Uh, now the seventh question: the incubation period of egg for hatching. Your options are six. Eight, fourteen, twenty-one, or twenty-eight. These values are in days. The incubation period of egg for hatching: six days, eight days, fourteen days, twenty-one days, or twenty-eight days. So, friends, answer is D. Hatching condition: the incubation period of chicken egg is twenty-one days. For successful hatching, egg required specific condition of temperature, turning, and ventilation. so a specific condition for hatching is for successful incubation optimum and uniform temperature humidity gaseous environment turning of eggs are very essential some details are related to this hatching are incubation period is required for setter 1 to 18 days and for hatcher 19 to 21 days temperature is should be between 99.5 to 100 fahrenheit And for hatcher, this is 98 Fahrenheit. A relative humidity should be 60 and 70 to 80 percent for setter and hatcher respectively, and turning eight times a day. So answer is 21 days. The incubation period for egg for hatching is 21 days. Eighth question: The required brooder temperature for a chick in fourth week of age is 
सेवेंटी सेवेंटी फाइव एट्टी एट्टी फाइव और नाइन्टी दीज वैल्यूज आर इन फॉर हाइट सो फ्रेंड्स ब्रूडर टेम्परेचर फॉर चिक्स एट डिफरेंट एजेस आर गिवेन इन दिस चार्ट दिस फोर्थ वीक द टेम्परेचर फॉर ब्रूडर टेम्परेचर इज सेवेंटी फाइव सो आंसर विल बी सेवेंटी फाइव द रिक्वायरमेंट of brooder temperature in fahrenheit for a chick in fourth week of age is 75 fahrenheit now the ninth question as per 20th life stock census the highest poultry population is found in which state your options are up andhra pradesh punjab maharashtra or tamil nadu 20th life stock census the highest poultry population in which state so answer will be e answer is e the top 5 state with the highest poultry populations are tamil nadu andhra pradesh telangana west bengal or maharashtra the state from our southern regions are in top 3 list now the rathi cow is considered as a native of haryana maharashtra gujarat gujarat rajasthan or tamil nadu tamil nadu ऑप्शन आर हरियाणा महाराष्ट्र गुजरात राजस्थान और तमिलनाडु राठी काउ सो फ्रेंड्स इस आंसर इज डी राठी काउ इज रिलेटेड टू राजस्थान इट फाउंड इन बीकानेर जैसलमेर गंगानगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ राजस्थान राठी इज एन इंपॉर्टेंट मिल्च ब्रीड ऑफ कैटल फाउंड इन एरिड रीजन ऑफ राजस्थान दिस ब्रीड फंक्शन एज अ मेजर लाइवलीहुड सोर्स फॉर द फार्मर्स इन दिस रीजन इट टेक इट्स नेम फ्रॉम अ पेस्ट्रोल ट्राइब कॉल्ड राठ who are muslim of rajput extraction and lead a nomadic life rathi animals are particularly concentrated in lok lokarnsar tehsil of bikaner district which is also known as the rathi tract the animals are usually brown with white patches all over the body but animals having completely brown or black coat with white patches are also seen so color identification can be seen a cow a rathi cow have a color of brown with white patches on her body the milk yield can be between 150 kg so these are the features of rathi cow and it found in the region of rajasthan 11th the buffalo breed famous for sickle shaped moderately long and flat horns your options are toda surti neeli ravi mehsana nagpuri so friends is answer will be b it is also known as the deccani gujarati talabda or charater and nadiyadi and it is generally found in uh, uh, the i have uh, defined uh, you the character features of this uh, buffalo surti buffalo and the some features of this buffalo is also Uh, you can have from uh, this uh, slide the breeding tract of this breed is kaira baroda district of gujarat coat colors vary from rusty brown to silver gray the horns are sickle shaped moderately long and flat the peculiarity of this breed is two white collars one round the jaw and the other at the brisket region the milk yield can be between 1000 to 1300 kg per lactation period the peculiarity of this breed is very high fat percentage in milk that is 8 to 12% now the 12th question the floor space requirement uh, in a covered area for a calf having age less than 3 month is 1 meter square 2 meter square 3.5 meter square 5 meter square or 12 meter square the floor space requirement covered area for a calf having a age less than 3 month so friends its answer will be a it is 1 meter square in this chart you can see uh, the floor space requirement of a bull that is 3.5 cow 4 young calf less than 3 month 1 young calf less between 3 to 6 month 1.5 uh, young calf greater than 6 month 2 pregnant cows 4 and bulls 12 so this is the floor space requirement for a different different animal now uh, its answer is a now the 13th question the first milk thick and yellowish in color rich in vitamin a and d 
it provides antibodies to kid to develop immunity against infection you have to identify the first milk thick in yellowish in color your options are clostrum suckling lecithin choline or none of these the first milk thick and yellowish in color and it also uh, boosts the immunity in the kids to fight against the infection so friends answer is a clostrum the clostrum is the first milk thick and yellowish in color rich in vitamin a and d it provides antibody to the kid and feed the clostrum within 30 minute to 2 hour of the birth as after the absorption rate of the immunoglobin slow down there are some other features of this clostridium. You can uh, see this feature after pausing this video. But the uh, answer for this question is A. Now the 14th question, the soil which is a mixture of sand, clay and silt is known as, your options are loamy, sandy, clay or desert. Friends, its answer is A. The soil which is a mixture of sand, clay and silt is known as the loamy soil. Loamy soil is a mixture of sand, clay and other type of soil particle is known as the silt. So, mixture of these three are known as the loamy soils. Now, the 15th question, what is the reason for the red color of the red soil? Your options are phosphoric acid, humus, nitrogen or iron. The red color for the red soil. Friends, its answer is D. Due to the iron, the red soil is type of soil that develops in a warm, temperate, moist climate under deciduous or mixed forest having thin organic and organic mineral layer black brown leach layer resting on an alluvi alluvium red layer and uh, red soils are generally dry from crystalline rock this is an important feature and they are usually poor growing soil soils low in nutrients and humus and difficult to be cultivated because of its lower water holding capacity these are the features friends these types of feature you should keep in your mind because any types of question you can have from these types of statement in your exam so answer is d now 16 question which one of the following is the main reason for the loss of the top soil in india wind erosion water erosion excessive leaching or none of the easy or none of the these uh, the main reason for loss of the topsoil. So friends, its answer is B. Because water erosion which is more serious and occur extensively in different parts of India takes place mainly in the form of sheet and gully erosion. Uh, sheet erosion takes place on level hands after a heavy shower and the soil removal is not easily noticeable. But it is harmful since, since it removes the finer and more fertile topsoil. So this is the main reason. Now the 17th question, where is the Institute of Soil Science is located? Your options are Dehradun, New Delhi, Bhopal or Kochi. Friends, its answer is C. It is located at Bhopal. The Indian Institute of Soil Science, ICAR, IISS was established on 16th April 1988 at Bhopal with a mandate of enhancing soil productivity with minimum environmental degradation. To accomplish the mandate of the institute, it has given the priority to soil health related issue faced by the farmers and the other stakeholders. So it is located in Bhopal and established on 16th April 1988. Answer is C. Now the 18 question, which one of the following is the major component of the soil? As we all know that uh, the soil is make, made up of some of the components and these all are the components which make the soil. Then you have to identify the which of the component has the highest percentage of the share in soil formation. So friends, this is the figure. First of all, its answer is A. The mineral com uh, constitute 45%. Air constitute 25%, water constitute 25% and other material, organic material constitute 5%. This is 25%, 25%, 45% and this is 5%. So, answer is A. Mineral constitute the major portion of the component of the soil. Uh, now, the 19 question, which one of the following are the extensively weathered soils? Your options are altisols, insectisols, aridisols, molisols or vertisols. 
which of the following are the extensively withered soils so answer is day a alti soils extensively withered soils alti soils are strongly leached and acidic forest soil with relatively low fertility intense withering of primary mineral has occurred so answer is a now the last question for today science dealing with the study of the soil is known as pedology pedagogy ecology or pomology science dealing with the study of the soil so answer is a friends uh pedology is this word is made upon of the two words pedon plus logos which meaning scientific study of the soil pedology derived from a greek word pedon which mean soil and logos means the study so answer is a so friend these were the 20 question which i have covered today i will cover up, come up with more videos and we will cover 100 multiple choice question till now we have covered 40 questions next 60 question we will cover in three videos so till then happy learning thank you padhte rahiye mehnat karte rahiye